Welcome back to another flat tying tutorial. Today we'll be tying a carp pattern. First off, we'll be starting with um, a TMCO, TMC708. It's kind of a streamer hook, but it's got this turned up eye, which is great. And let's just get our thread going right there at the curve. So we will just get a nice nice little thread base here and for weight I'm going to be using <clears throat> size large B chain eyes. Um, these are just kind of specific to the type of carp water I fish. Um, you're going to want to definitely play around with the weight when it comes to carp flies. You want that to either be light if they're really spooky or if they're kind of deep down low like four feet need something that's going to sink and the carp pond I usually play around at these are the right size for that so um, I will just get these crisscross wraps get these locked in couple under get it nice and tight and well, so those are nice and locked in we will just work our way back and then so here we are going to take a couple pieces of um, barred rubber legs these are kind of orange orange speckled rubber legs and so I'm going to tie these so they kind of point out in two opposite directions so I'll take two, lay it on top, a couple of wraps, and then I'll fold. The other two and kind of crisscross wrap it like that. One more and that'll get these to kind of lay in separate directions. Once we have a few wraps in there, we'll cut them to the same length. And then now, I'm just going to take a little bit of dubbing wax, put that on the thread here. And then we're going to make a little dubbing ball right there in between the legs. And for dubbing, I'm using the hairline UV shrimp pink. So we'll get a nice little dubbing noodle going. And then we're gonna couple wraps and then start crisscrossing through our rubber legs there. We'll just try and keep these sticking out in opposite directions. And then just make a nice little little dubbing ball there. And then now for the body, which is this cool material from Montana Fly Company, it's um, it's a bunny brush. Uh, we're going to use color olive, kind of like a little mini crayfish pattern. So we'll just take this in and we'll tie it right at that dubbing ball. Get that nice and locked in, then we'll just work our thread back up to the front here. Right behind the bead chain eyes. And we will just wrap this forward. Um, get a few nice tight wraps right there at the back. And then just work our way forward. And we're just kind of working the fibers back on each, each wrap. Once we get 
right up behind the beaching eyes we will just kind of do like two wraps and just lock it in right there but don't cut it yet and we're going to fold it back and we're going to tilt our fly up okay so then when you tilt your fly up here we can we're going to take a couple more pieces of rubber legs and we're just going to tie two pieces sticking straight forward and we'll just get those nice and locked in there And the ones sticking forward are going to be slightly shorter than the ones on the tail. So now that we have those, we can take our little bunny strip, bunny bunny brush here, and we'll crisscross through the bead chain eyes. And we'll just get a little wrap up here. get that locked in and then you can take either a wire cutter or a crappy old pair of scissors and just clip that wire for the brush and now we'll just kinda work these fibers back and we're gonna make a nice little red hot spot with their thread here and then we can go ahead and whip finish. All right, so that's basically the fly, but now we're just going to brush out all the fibers here. And then we got to give it a little haircut because it's just a big ball of fluff right now. So what we'll do here is we'll kind of trim at an upward angle around the whole B chain eye area in the front. And it'll just kind of give you a nice little tapered body. Just kind of brush out the fibers that get trapped in there. And then when you're kind of happy with your taper here, we'll leave it nice and bushy at the tail end. And then when this gets wet, it has a lot of movement. It's real buggy. And that is the carp crawler. Um, super buggy fly. If you have any little crayfish in your carp pond, um, it's just kind of a big attractor. Works well. Give it a try. Pretty easy to tie. Thanks for watching.